Hey there, in this video I'll be discussing hyperbolic functions. Look at the form where we have y is equal to 1 over x, y is equal to a over x plus q. It's much the same, you just have a vertical shift in your asymptote, and that's represented by the q. So let's discuss this further. Let's discuss the effects of, let's look at a. We'll do Q as well. When you look at A, you need to look at the sign of A to determine which quadrant the two legs of the hyperbolic function will lie in. So when A is positive, which means it's greater than naught, the function lies in the first and third quadrant. Now the first quadrant is the top right hand quadrant, then the second would be top left, third bottom left, fourth bottom right. So if we say a is greater than 1, we say that the function will be further away from the set of axes than say for instance 1 over x. So if you had 2 over x it would be further away from the axes than 1 over x. Now when a is between 0 and 1, we say that a tends towards zero. The graph then moves closer to the set of axes rather than one over x. So if you were to have a half x, it would be closer than if you had 1 over x. Let's do the situation where you've got a is less than 0, or actually known as negative. When this is the case, the function lies in the second and fourth quadrant, so that's top left and bottom right. When a is less than minus 1, it's further away from the axes than, for instance, minus 1 over x. The same goes for show when you have a between minus 1 and 0. The function moves closer to the set of axes. So if you had, for instance, a 0 0.2, negative 0 0.2 over x, you'd be very close to the axes. Matting it at the top here, like you can see. When it's positive, it will be top right, bottom left. And when it's negative, it will be top left, bottom right. 